SU Odyssey Oddcast with your host. How's it going, everybody? LPS here. How are you doing? Saturday night. You know, they tell us, or Elton John told us, Saturday night is all right for fights ing. Right? Saturday night is all right for it is Saturday Night Fever here, lsuodyssey.com, everybody. Check out some of our recent interviews, recent exclusive content, diving into camp, which we will be doing this week when they reconvene for the, for the next slate of spring practices. And then we will be down there ourselves, boots on the ground in Louisiana for the second straight year, covering spring practices with uh, full credentials. We'll be there for the press conferences. We'll be there for everything as expected. Um, This is LSU Odyssey. We don't mess around, and it'll be interesting to see. You know, we have some questions for Brian Kelly. We have some questions for the coaches. We've got uh, quite a stack we're building of of, uh, preparation for the trip itself. It should be fun. It should be amazing. Um, And, you know, what I want to talk about in this video is our soon-to-be article coming out on Taz Williams Jr. out of Red Oak High in Texas. He's out of the 2020-2025 class. Okay, not 2024, 2025. And um, Cortez Hankton has already offered him. Georgia offered him in January. He's visiting Georgia this weekend. Notre Dame, Georgia Tech offer him this weekend as well. But um, the offers, Alabama, Ole Miss, Michigan, every, I mean, every school, literally except for like Ohio State, Oklahoma, a few of those who probably will offer him in time anyway, is what we're um, hearing. He's pretty much been offered by every top school in America And from what I'm seeing with this footage and speaking to him at length, both about football, about life, I really feel like like Taz Williams Jr. will be a five-star. And if not the number one receiver in the class in 2025, within the top, within the top five. I think that is a definitive... I think he has shown that he has the capability to be a top receiver at the next level. He's got the body 6'1", 175, showing to be growing. I mean, he just he just played his sophomore season, really, and over 800 yards, kick return freak as well, had a kick return touchdown, had a 77-yard jet sweep touchdown that was just absolutely breathtaking. He's a speed freak, but also... A red zone finisher. Three red zone touchdown catches on the season. You'll be seeing that article very soon on the site. Everybody stay dialed in. LSUodyssey.com